Hello everyone, welcome back to The Wooden Spoon. Today I am here with the 4th of July food vlog. This is something different that I wanted to try out, so here it goes. So for 4th of July, we decided to make some brisket and some ribs and a lot of other things. And I'm just going to quickly just show you guys what we did and then I'll post the recipes, I guess, that we used down in the down bar below. So here we did a 10 pound brisket. So for the brisket, we just used some mustard so the uh, the dry rub that we made could stick on it much better uh, so it has something to stick on so here we just made this from scratch and it was so delicious i will leave the recipe in the down bar below you guys should definitely try it and here are the ribs and we put the brisket in about two hours earlier and now we were just putting the ribs in since the brisket takes a lot longer to cook we put the ribs in like two hours later uh, then we put the brisket so here we're just popping our ribs in the smoker we've used the smoker before however we've never made ribs and brisket so this was our first time making it um, but alhamdulillah it turned out really good and it was really super delicious as you can see, like here, we were just spritzing the ribs and the brisket with an apple cider vinegar and water. And I think the briskets and the ribs are about done. They turned out so delicious. As you can see, like how juicy they are and all the fat rendered out. It was just amazing. It's just so nice to just do it at your house, at your convenience. It did take a long time, but my husband really killed and knocked it out of the park. And we also did some kebabs on the side, and this was our spread. We did chicken tikkas, mac and cheese, some juicy ribs, some kebabs, hot dogs and stuff. And this was the final reveal for the brisket. This turned out really awesome. We thought it was kind of on the drier side because it was our first time trying it. But nonetheless, overall, like for our first attempt, it came out pretty good. It was so yummy. My entire family almost killed it. It was delicious. So we just had this with some buns and some barbecue sauce and hot sauce and we put it in the panini press and it turned out really, really tasty. You can see the bark is like so nice and brown, almost like black even. And it was juicy. It was juicy on the inside and it was just tasty overall. And then my sister-in-law, she also made uh, this dessert where she did a chocolate fountain and this custard which was amazing and then we ended our night off with some beautiful fireworks our fourth of july went really awesome it was fun and the weather was just perfect i hope your guys's fourth of july went amazing as well and i guess i will see you guys back here very soon if you guys have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so it helps my channel out a lot and i'll see you soon bye